dancing. We're doing a guess that Nickelodeon food challenge. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. My childhood fantasy come to real okay. life. You guys right. excited to try some Nickelodeon food? Yes. I am, yes. Anything you're hoping to try? Spaghetti tacos. Any food for my Carly. I feel like wherever I lack, you'll just pick up the slack for me. We'll see. I, that's what happened. It happen. is a head-to-head -head battle. Okay, so wherever I lack, I'll pick up the slack. And to sweeten the pot, we have got some iconic Nickelodeon slime Yo. for our winners. You know you no, I want mermaid slime. Ah, Yo. I love Let's go. slime. All right, you ready to get started? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Oh, okay, interesting. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what these are from. We've got some fresh blubber nuggets, but don't worry, we warm them up for you. These are blubber nuggets. Blubber nuggets. Ooh. Why does he look familiar? Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, this is so funny. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Got a nice flavor to They're them. They're chewy. Very chewy. I'm getting something from this animation style. Same. It's a good looking whale, you know, he just got his eyebrows done. He's looking spiffy. The little whale here is a very specific art style. Shoot, now you make me question my decision. Three, two, one. Fairly odd yeah, parents. Yeah. I put fairly odd parents. Fairly odd parents. Same. I Sponge put SpongeBob, Bob? but like, the honestly, are they gonna eat their own? Yeah, okay, Fairly Odd Parents. It is Fairly Odd Parents. I knew it! I stand Doug Dimmydome. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimmydome. I already know. <gasps> Next we have Bibble, a tasty British popcorn snack. What the heck was British on Nickelodeon? Bibble! <laughs> I feel like she does now and does not want to help. It's a challenge. I get it. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to try this so bad. This is, I'm taking these home. Oh, that's really good. Okay, I think it's really good. Mm hmm This is freaking delicious. It's super sweet. Tastes like candy Car popcorn. Caramel, caramel candy popcorn. Mm -hmm. It's better than caramel popcorn. Yes, I agree. I think this is the only joke I remember from the show. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna need a tip, I'm gonna for need sure. Yeah. Definitely need that hint. One of today's most iconic pop stars got her start on this show. Oh, man, then yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You know how many of those there are? And Victoria. Victorious. Jesus! Oh! Yeah. But Doug, I have no clue. Iconic Hi, pop stars! She's a character in both shows, yeah. obviously. What iconic pop stars came out of Doug? You know what? I ignored that. <laughs> Whoa, Tori! <laughs> <laughs> Just every time she speaks. <laughs> Ugh, That's the one I was thinking this of! This was the one Why show did I, I, did not, I did not think of this show. Are you kidding? Okay, it's in Victorious, but... It's also in Sam and Cat. It's so good. It, it, it actually is, is that really good. good. You are correct. Uh, Cat got addicted to it in Victorious, but she did bring it over to Sam and Cat. Yeah, mm. she had it a lot. In At least you didn't write Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Here's some Diet Dr. Kelp, which pairs very nicely with a freshly baked pizza. It actually tastes like kelp. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll be really upset with myself Doctor, if I get this one wrong. And Diet Dr. Kelp. The font helps. Like, look at this font. This yeah. just gives it all away. This, this screams two days later. Exactly. <laughs> Where's my Diet Dr. Kelp? Nicole, these are a little too easy. SpongeBob. SpongeBob yeah. SquarePants. This is SpongeBob SquarePants, Ooh. for sure, for sure. The Krusty Krab pizza is, is the, the best pizza, pizza. absolutely. Hey. SpongeBob. There we it is. Knew we knew it. I mean, this one was an easy win. There we go. God, what a great episode. <laughs> Dr. Kelp? I love SpongeBob. Oh, this episode always makes me feel bad whenever I get mad at people for forgetting things now. <laughs> but, like, how am I supposed to finish this drink without my pizza? Oh, wow. Okay, now this is turning into a punishment. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Next up, we've got a deliciously savory breakfast cereal, Meatloaf Crunch. Haven't you always wanted to try Meatloaf Crunch? No, no not particularly. I don't want to. I don't want to. You have to. Oh, oh it's, it smells like meat. Uh, yep, it smells as as described. There's no small pieces in here either. <laughs> no, I gotta like break huge. ones. They're like rock. I'm going, I'm going in for a thick boy. Well, good luck with that. All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -mm. Uh-uh, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. I why did we trust that Nicole would put us in a normal episode? Do you remember why? No. I just licked it and I, like, my breath is meaty and beefy now. Ew. Chug the milk, there we go. 
Ooh, you got people ew. chugging milk from the pitcher. Like, this is crazy. Oh, God. I need oh, the I hint. I don't know what Yeah, I also from. need the hint. Here is your clue. Hey, guys. Nicole here, and I have a confession. I am a food lover who can barely eat any food. About two years ago, I started developing all sorts of food intolerances from dairy to onions, garlic, and even canola oil, which let me tell you is in everything. Food, which always brought me so much joy, now causes me stress and anxiety. It was a real eye-opener to me that even something so small as not being able to eat your favorite foods could be a trigger to your own mental health and wellness. We've all heard about the importance of mental health, and if you're struggling with your own mental health and aren't sure where to start, today's sponsor, BetterHelp is here to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. First, you'll fill out a questionnaire to help access your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with one of BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapists in under 48 hours. Once you're matched, you can schedule secure private online video and phone sessions at your convenience. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages with your therapist, and everything you share is completely confidential. I've been speaking with my therapist about these issues, and she's helped me realize that while I can't change what's happening to me physically, I can continue to share my love of food through People vs. Food. You guys, you're what keep me going. Also, you can request a new therapist at any time for no additional charge, so you can feel comfortable knowing that you'll eventually find the right therapist for you. So join the 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. And get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash people versus food. Check out the link in the description below to find out more. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Let's get on with the game. Here is your clue. Court dismissed, bring out the dancing lobsters. Oh, okay. This, this is, is a deep. hard one. I, I complained about it being too easy, but now I have no idea. Oh no, oh no. Is it blending with another show? Because that's exactly what's happening to me. <laughs> two shows coming to mind now, actually. I said I, Carly. I said I, Carly. I Drake said Drake and Josh. And Josh. Honestly. Just... I put the Amanda show. Oh, yes! <laughs> I went with the Amanda show. Same. Like, Amanda, 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 <laughs> Amanda show. There we there go. There she is. Oh my I... God, Drake Bell. No, look at that. Oh God, they're so young. Amanda, 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 Amanda show. Amanda show. Oh. The Amanda show. Look at him pour it. Oh. Meatloaf Crunch is terrible. Would not oh. recommend. Ew. <laughs> Do you want another bite of Meatloaf Crunch? No. Absolutely not. What? Uh. Up next is the Peruvian puff pepper, an ingredient that will guarantee a win in a salsa baking competition. Oh, oh, okay. I know what it is. What? Why am I so bad at associating foods? I have a singular guess in mind. Peruvian puff pepper. He already knows. Yeah. I have one guess. And if it's not that, then I don't even think the hint would help. They're the size of our head. Just literally these are, the these size are. of my head. Mmm. Tastes exotic. <laughs> it looks like he's bleeding. It doesn't yeah. look like you're bleeding. Is it actually? Yeah. yeah. All right, your answer is locked in, Daniel. You need a hint, Martine. I would love a hint, please. Hug me, brother. You know, oh, I should know this. Yeah. Okay. No, I remember you uh, get disqualified for using this pepper. Pick the wild thornberries. Drake and Josh. Oh. I have Drake and Josh. Oh, nice. Yeah, Drake and Josh for real this time. Oh, it is Drake and Josh? <laughs> <laughs> I went with the other duo that I could think of. Okay, sweet. It is Drake and Josh. Yeah, there it is. You know, it's really great, but it seems like Megan is gonna f some shit up. Oh my gosh, she's she's so, tiny. so cute. Look at them spying in the back. Girl had too much money and too much internet access. <laughs> it, does, it does look like that. The Peruvian <laughs> puff pepper. The Peruvian puff pepper. Is that good? I'm yeah, good Megan. that was pretty good. Okay. okay. Here we have some chocolate pudding, best served when contemplating one's life choices. I, well, I do that every day, so. <laughs> Did you say while well, contemplating one's life choices? Mm-hmm. I'll do that right now. No idea what this is from. Oh, I forgot we were supposed to be guessing. I was just digging into the pudding. I think I know. Really? So good. And this rings zero bells. Even better when you like smear it all around your mouth. Now there's nothing obvious in the presentation, you know. Oh, okay, wait. She knows. I have no clue. Who's made contemplatable life choices on Nickelodeon? Plenty. Martine's locked in. You would like a hint? I would like a hint, yes, please. I'm really hoping. They went to Paris. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Hold on a second. <laughs> I actually worked for the guy who wrote the movie for a while. 
and I've I've looked at that poster many times. Rugrats? Rugrats? Rugrats. Rugrats? Girl, what? Dude. Dun, 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 dun. I said iCarly because Sam is obsessed with pudding in the show. That would be Rugrats. Yep, there we go. Rugrats. Nice. Ah! Oh, it's the meme! Because I've lost control of my life. Because I've lost control of my life. Are you making pudding at 4 a.m.? Because I've lost control of my life. <laughs> Thank you. Easy peasy. No way! Yeah. No way! This is a dream come true. Lastly, we have the most iconic Nickelodeon food, spaghetti tacos. I'm just gonna sit back and write this. All right. My childhood fantasy come to real okay. life. I'm yep. so excited it's for time. this. Cheers. That looks kind of good. I'm thinking like Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> write that down. It's iCarly. iCarly. This is iCarly? That one's iCarly, yeah. That's wrong. Yeah, I put iCarlex. Spaghetti tacos. Spaghetti tacos, <laughs> freaking amazing. Yes. There it is. Yeah, there it is. They were like the original influencers right there. Uh, I just remember mostly from that show, like the random dancing. Congratulations, Jeremiah, Sabrina, and Daniel. You guys were our nice. big winners today. Nice. Slime! <laughs> I'm jealous. I wanted this from Toys R Us as a child so badly and my parents would not get it because they're like, that's disgusting and messy and you're not bringing that shit to my house. Yeah, it's, very, it's very pretty slime. It's so pretty. This, Which they like, this like Neapolitan be? slime. It's it like... looks like ice cream. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, no. That is thick. It's just like bringing was... back so many childhood memories. I've been wanting to play with this since I was a child. Jeremiah is such a good friend. He's letting me play with his prize. Sharing this is, is the caring. best day of my life. Oh my God, it just keeps going, man. This is great, look at that. <gasps> yeah, noodles, and then, noodles. Slime, you gotta like fully take control of it. You can't let it take control of you. This is like you sorcery. You thank you, no thank you, slime. Yeah, Final thoughts is time. Nickelodeon made our childhood for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of People vs. Food. <laughs> Did you enjoy this Guess That Food Challenge? Let us know in the comments down below. And let us know what other challenges you want to see on this channel. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and tell all of your friends to watch. I feel like I put my hand in like, like Xenomorph guts.